Hi, this is Happy Bird from Happy Bird's Glitter Nest dot com, and today I'm going to show you how I made these beautiful little pastel butterflies. Now I just used colored cardstock and um, a little bottle of white iridescent glitter, and I used this glitter on all four of these butterflies. And what I did is um, I just mixed up different cuts of the white iridescent glitter that I had on hand in my stash and I'll tell you more about that a little bit later on but I think they turned out really beautiful and you can use these little embellishments with so many things and they're really nice and sturdy so um, we'll get started and I'll show you how I put these together I won't take too much time on this part because I know that I already went through this um, in the last butterfly video, but I'll briefly show you this. Um, you're going to need a butterfly punch. I used this punch by EK Tools, and they have a smaller butterfly and a larger butterfly in the same um, shape, and I used the smaller one, and I believe, if I remember right, I think it's one and a half inches across, okay, the one that I'm using. and with this punch you're going to punch out two butterflies in the 110 pound white cardstock okay, just like this and it makes a nice base for a butterfly it's nice and stiff then you're going to pick pick you're going to punch out two butterflies in some colored cardstock and no, this does not have to be 110 pound. It can be any solid color pastel cardstock you have in there. Um, as you can see, I didn't have a lavender one, so I just used this little paint chip card, and it worked beautifully. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I already cut the um, parts off of one of the white butterflies and one of the um, pink ones that I chose because I'm going to be um, gluing this on top of this and gluing this on top of this okay and I'm going to be using the Beacon Fabri-Tac you don't have to use this but I love it because your papers don't buckle when you glue them together and that's so nice top part there and the white 110 pound cardstock you can find it on Amazon but I think it would be probably a little cheaper to buy it um, in the uh, craft stores it depends I guess really I mean sometimes um, Amazon has sales too so you want to make sure you get it along the edges especially because you don't want this to peel apart on the edges okay so if you don't have it on the edge make sure that it, you get it there okay and then I'm gonna pick this up and just kind of straighten it out on there you know like this before you press down and you know just give it a little while to dry and you're going to do the same thing with this on top of this, okay? These butterflies really do turn out beautiful. And there's so many different things you can do with these. And I love the fact that... Um, with this glue too it also becomes stiffer and stiffer um, when it dries I'm sorry <laughs> brain cramp there for a minute okay make sure it's where I want it okay and I'm just going to allow these to dry for a little bit 
All right, and um, and then we'll be back. Little thing I forgot about. We're going to take um, a gold paint pen, just like this, and we're just gonna paint the little antennae there, and then this little piece at the bottom. We're going to paint and we're going to allow this to dry. Okay. All right, now I'll be back. <laughs> okay, so this is thoroughly dried. So we're going to pick up the piece where we cut the um, parts off. And I'm going to take my little pair of precision scissors here. Sorry about that. I'm going to press down, kind of bend it over to where it's folded like that. You can use anything you want. I'm just using these scissors. And and you're going to take this and by the way I used the Fabri-Tac glue. Place this right in the middle like so. Hold it up so you can see that it's where you want it. Alright. There you go. Just like that. Okay. And then I cut <clears throat> four little stones from my three millimeter rhinestone um, chain. Right here. Okay. And I'm just going to place that right in the middle. Now you can wait for this part to dry if you want before you attempt that. Or <clears throat> you can just put it on right now. <laughs> Whatever you feel comfortable with. And all I do is lay that down, and then I take a toothpick and push all four pieces together. Press it down. And you can take your toothpick and do this if you want. Kind of make it as even as you can in there. Like that, see? That looks pretty good. Okay, and it's not going to be absolutely 100% perfect, but we're going to make it as close to perfect as we can. <laughs> Alright, so um, I'm going to allow that to dry thoroughly, and then we'll be back. Okay, this is just dry enough for me to add the little um, glue-on earring bale to the bottom here. Just like that. Okay. And I'm going to allow it, of course, to continue to dry once I put this on, but I just wanted it to be dry enough to where I could handle it. Alright. And if you're wondering where I got these, I bought these little glue-on earring bales a while back on eBay. The seller's no longer there, but they do have these on Amazon. Just type in those words, glue-on earring bale. Now I put my Beacon Fabri-Tac on the back here. Straighten it up a little bit. And it'll stay really well. Okay, see? Looks just like that. And I'm just going to allow this to continue to dry. And it shouldn't take too long, so. Alright, and then we'll be back and do the fun stuff. 
Okay, so if you've been following me for any length of time, you'll know that I love the white iridescent glitter, and I'll make my own mixes out of just what I have on hand. Um, just go through your stash and take out all the different cuts of white iridescent glitter that you have. This is not Recollections brand in here. This is something that I just mixed. Okay, I was just using the bottle. And um, this is another one. And I love this one that I picked up at Walmart. It's called um, Snowy Surprise. And this is the brand name. And it has a couple of different cuts of glitter in there, which is really pretty. But when they do have it, it seems to go very quickly. So if you see it, grab it, because it may not be there the next time. And so all I do is just mix it up and sometimes I use these little um, Dollar Tree containers because I'll just want a little bit but not a lot. Um, I've also gone on eBay and bought little tiny uh, bags of nail glitter with different shapes in them that are iridescent like little butterflies and stars and you can probably see that in here. Um, you can also go on Amazon, just type in the word nail glitter or iridescent and um, there will be a lot of different ones popping up for you. But I like the white iridescent when using it on these colored cardstock butterflies because whatever color is underneath it just automatically picks up in like this. These butterflies here I used the exact same glitter but different color cardstock and it turned out like this. Isn't that pretty? And if you look closely you can see some of the little butterflies and stars. I just thought it gave it an added touch. Just type in the words nail glitter and um, whether you're on eBay or Etsy or uh, <clears throat> or Amazon, okay? And it should pop up for you. Now, um, I don't use a ton of the nail glitter. I mix up my iridescent glitter and then I put just a tiny bit of the nail glitter so it, I won't waste it. Okay, so with that said, we'll move on, and I'm going to be using the Deco Art Triple Thick, and you can find this at any craft store. I heard that it's cheaper than buying it on Amazon um, from a couple of people. They do have this at Hobby Lobby. I'm not too sure about um, Walmart. At one time they carried it, but... Um, I don't know, some people tell me they can still find it there and others say that they can't. But just type in the word Deco Art Triple Thick and you should be able to find it. Okay, um, so I'm just taking my paintbrush. I'm starting with one side and in fact, you know what, let me put some of this Triple Thick here in this little bottle cap because I really don't like dipping directly out of the jar when I'm using glitter because glitter always seems to find its way into the jar if you don't pull some of it out and, and um, use it in a Dixie cup or a bottle cap. Okay, so um, I'm just going to do one side and then the next and as you can see I'm painting on just a, a regular amount of the triple thick. I'm not putting it real heavy and I'm not putting it real thin. Just want to make sure I, I get it all. <laughs> and <clears throat> I'm going to do the bottom part the same way. Just kind of slide it in there like that. Okay? Alright, so now going to take this and I have 
this wax paper underneath it so whatever's left I can just easily fold in half and um, shake the glitter back into the jar so I won't waste it. And then I just use it over and over again. Okay, I'm going to give it a little tap, a little shake. Now you can take a toothpick if you want and just kind of run it around here to knock off any pieces that are hanging over the edge and any pieces that are sticking up I just press down now this triple thick dries pretty quickly um, once you put it on in a in a layer like I did that's not too thick but not too thin so you have to work fairly quickly Okay, so we'll allow that to dry, and um, but right now I think we can just go ahead and turn it around and do the other side. Sure, I get all the edges. Okay. And pour a little bit here. <clears throat> and then here. Okay. Now go around the edges. <clears throat> Excuse me, I keep clearing my throat. All right, so I'm going to make sure there's it's clear here and here. All right, so I'm going to let this dry completely and then we'll be back. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to attach a little flower bead to the bottom of the butterfly. And I bought the pink ones from a gal on Etsy. I'll go ahead and give you her link on my blog at happybirdsglitternest.blogspot.com. Just scroll a little ways um, under the uh, patterns for you to print that I have on my blog, and you'll see a picture of. Um, this butterfly and um, underneath it I'll give you the link okay now I only purchased the pink ones from her that's all she had um, the colored ones I bought from a seller on eBay but that seller is no longer there um, I did find another seller on eBay that sells these colored ones but I haven't purchased anybody any because to tell you the truth his feedback is so bad that I highly doubt that even if I did it would come. <laughs> um, but I do have a link for the pink ones from the gal on Etsy. Okay? Uh, Alright, so I'm going to take a six millimeter jump ring and open it up and slip the little charm on and just attach it to the bottom here. And everything is so lightweight because um, the little flower bead is acrylic, of course. And it's very pretty. Really does shine. So um, I'll go ahead and get all, all of the little butterflies together and show you. Okay, here we go. This is all four butterflies together that we used the same tone 
of glitter on. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you give these a try. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. God bless you all. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.